Emily Erickson and her son, Albin, share a bond beyond mother and child. They were born from the same womb. That's like science fiction, really. It's actually not fiction at all. Erickson, who was born without a uterus, is the first woman to give birth after receiving a womb transplant from her mother. She's coming forward now, sharing her family's experience, to give hope to other women. Erickson's mom says she was glad to help. I don't want any more children, so it's fine to me. So uh, it's her only chance to get her child. So. Swedish doctor Mats Brandström was the first physician to perform successful womb transplants with living donors. The results? Five healthy babies in the past two years and another due in January. Medical history is of course nice, but when you see a patient, I mean, I, I think that is actually the, the best, uh, the best uh, satisfaction you can get. In February, doctors in Cleveland performed the first uterus transplant in the U.S but complications later forced its removal. This week, a Dallas hospital said three out of four recent womb transplants had failed. But Brandstrom believes the procedure will one day become routine. He began his research with mice more than 15 years ago. It continued with larger animals and, eventually, humans. Albin was born almost two years ago. He's special, but he won't get any free rides because he is that special. Uh, but I will tell him everything including his own role in medical history. Kathy Matheson, Associated Press.